considering all of that, considering uh, the great uh, euphoria over Biden's visit, um, the, the optics that it gave, uh, the continuing war, um, where we need resources, what we could do better. Um, can you take a stab at what the next three months might look like? I'm not even going to say year because that's just too, we didn't even predict we would be here a year ago. We just didn't. And so, but do we know what a spring might look like? Or do you have a sense of what we should be looking for um, as journalists, as yeah. constituents, as citizens? I'm going to be ambitious there. And I'm going to take a stab at the next year. Oh, since, great. Since, since I wrote a piece, uh, I wrote an article about this. Uh, what we're what we're facing is a um, already kind of an, an evolving Russian offensive uh, with thus far limited gains. Uh, Russia is going to continue to pour thousands of troops in. Ukraine is almost surely going to successfully defend. Def successfully defend means that they might have to give up territory, but they're basically sapping the strength of the Russian army. Eventually, we're going to get to the point where Russia culminates and runs out of offensive capability and switches to the defense. That is what happened uh, 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 in the prelude to the Battle of Kharkiv and, the, and Kherson, where Ukraine liberated massive swaths of, of territory. That's what we're facing probably in the late spring, summer, maybe late summer time frame. And um, we should recognize that Russia gets relatively weaker every day. Ukraine gets relatively stronger every day. This war continues. Russia doesn't have trained personnel. It's burning through uh, its equipment, uh, digging deep into Soviet era equipment. Ukraine is getting advanced Western equipment um, in si significant numbers. It's getting thousands, uh, tens of thousands of, of their, its troops trained. It's keeping them in reserve for this uh, counteroffensive that they're planning and really kind of fighting out what they have currently on the front line, lots of reserve troops in play. So what, what you could see is Ukraine, low probability that Ukraine is going to really kind of uh, let's say, destroy the Russian uh, military entirely, meaning that they uh, achieve such a staggering um, operational strategic effect. Let's say they break all the way through to Mariupol and, and sever the uh, ground lines to Crimea. That would, that could, you could see that uh, resulting in a collapse of the Russian lines in general. That's maybe a little bit far-fetched, but you could see Ukraine get, making significant gains uh, threatening Russian supply, limited supply lines, and probably starting to threaten Crimea in a way that ultimately compels uh, Russia to start to think about negotiations, where Putin, you know, recognizes that he doesn't have the military means to check to achieve his political aims, switches to, you know, more earnest negotiations and looks to retain some of the gains that he had, you know, from, from this year, past year of war or from 2014. And the longer this war goes, the less chance that Ukraine is going to be willing to negotiate. Um, so I think it gets dangerous in the six to nine month time horizon where Ukraine is, it has been successful, sees an opportunity to potentially uh, um, reestablish its internationally recognized borders and then is less apt to negotiate. And that's probably about the same time that Putin then starts to consider negotiating and there's going to be a huge uh, mismatch there. And then he has to decide whether he escalates to nuclear weapons because that will be the only thing he has left or, uh, you know, because he, he may very well do another call up. But uh, that that was unlikely to do the trick. The one game changer here is China. If China comes in with support, then, uh, you know, we all have to kind of reevaluate how this war goes. Um, and that could be a, a, a recipe for protracted proxy warfare. But otherwise, I think this war is going to is going to start to enter a um, negotiation phase, still a hot war, but a negotiation phase, you know, towards the end of this year.